Good morning, how are you? I wanted to start this video with just a very soft introduction with a cup of tea and burning a candle and showing you a couple of my art journals that are more productive journals as opposed to a regular art journal. I do have the art journal like this one where I do paint in it is specifically just to do my art in but these journals are more productive and what I mean by productive is like this one I call my journal of things and it's where I put processes and techniques and information on things that I just want to keep track of and I show you the cover I go into detail of how I record the pages that I have in there because it's going to be all over the place but um, I just flip to a page you can either use a computer to type things up or hand write your things out um, I do like to encourage painting one of the pages just to get you in the mood of painting and then adding a process on the other side but it's one place to keep track of everything now i started this book before so i'll have pages in here that i've done without any painting and i'm going to go back in and fix those pages and um, encourage myself to add in the uh, painted on the other side but this is a great book just to keep track of any processes, for instance, I go into detail in the video, but like um, shop towels or making handmade tools. And then I just add a pretty uh, book marker that I hand painted on watercolor paper. And I just added a sticky strip of bling bling. This second uh, little book, which I show you how I painted, it's more of a high flow kind of watercolor look. I call it my muse. It's like a daily journal of what I plan to do that day. It's mainly for my art. It's um, or anything that is in kind of combination with my art. But I do encourage painting one of the pages. Um, you can take this with you wherever you go, your doctors, or just keep it in your your art room. But I go into more detail, but I did want to show you. I'm messy. I don't care if the pages are messy. But it's a it's like a more of a kind of like a daily art journal of what I'm going to do that day. So I thought I would show that to you. And um, without further ado, let's get started. All right. Good morning. So what I wanted to show you today is some things. Re remember on the past video, um, I'm not sure which one, I, well, I talk about the inspiration from artists. And I think it's in a blog I wrote. And when we are creatives, and I'm going to get this ready while I'm talking. When we're creatives, we have to create. It's something that is within us that is vital to our our being i say and when we can't create or we there's no time or we can't get in the studio or, or we say we don't feel like it then there's something missing and i think um well i think when we do paint and we are creative it's like the the serotonins start to go into effect and we just feel better. So what I wanted to show you today is something that I've haphazardly done in the past, but um, I'm going to show you a couple of my journals because I think um, this is a practice that I want to continue to do and make it more of a practice this year. I don't always get in the studio because I do YouTube and I do other things. I do training and I mentor. So I don't always get in the studio, but I wanted to show you a couple of the books, of the um, organizational books or uh, little manuals. These two are great because I can carry these with me. But the first one I wanted to show you is I do a lot of processes. And when I come across something that I really like, for instance, I love using shop towels. 
and uh, that's like a process. Or um, I had an artist friend recently over and she shared with me how to do transfers using packing tape and um, putting it in water. And so I don't forget that that will go in here. Uh, processes of anything unusual I do with my alcohol inks. Um, I recently uh, learned how to paint alcohol inks on Yupo paper and there were some tools that for me made all the difference in the world. I started playing and those are the types of things that I want to remember and instead of having them all scattered all over the place, this is the book I'm going to use. And so what I did on my computer as I went in and I just typed in and this is just one of those black um, journals um, you can get any size you want and um, this is like a I don't know maybe eight and a half by eleven but anyway you can get any size you want so it doesn't matter but what I did was I typed in on the computer lines and then I put processes and techniques and then I put the page on the outside here. And the reason why I did that is, for instance, one of the pages, I just painted one side, and over on this other side, I put using shop towels. I love them. It's just a technique that I, I just wrote this down, and I wrote down the date. And then I can keep going with the shop towels. In fact, on the top here, and this is, this is a work in progress. I can put um, blue shop towels. And then what I do with those is I really just um, rub the paint on the side. And it's just, it's a technique I love. Anyway... Um, so this is on page, and I numbered it. You can get books with numbers. This is page 27. So over here, anywhere on here, I can put blue shop towels. And this is so simple. You may not even think, gosh, Cheryl, that's so simple. So I'm just using this as an example. You can you can go into more detail with your processes that you want. Um, you can do processes of how to make stamps. I have several videos on that. And then you would put the page number. And if I fill that page up and I go on to another page, say I'm talking about a process that has more pages, I would just put a comma here and add the additional page. Very, very simple. So what I'm going to do today is show you. I'm going to paint a page. And the reason why I'm telling you that to paint a page is this is something that you can do every morning. Very simple. Because just to get yourself as a creative in the studio every morning, every day, without thinking, this is something that is, it's not a painting, it's not something that maybe anybody's going to see. It's just something that is getting you in the studio and you're playing with, without having to think about it. And it, uh, it gets those creative juices, the serotonin part of your brain. I don't think the serotonin is a part of your brain, but anyway, you know what I mean. It gets you your mind thinking about uh, creating and it gets you excited, and um, I just think it's a great way to get you to get your get your mind thinking about creating without having to worry. So I'm just gonna, and you can write. I love my writing. I always write backwards. I love my 56. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that backwards. I always like white. I use white in everything. So I'm going to rub that in. I think I'm going to use a bigger brush. Let some of that blend in. It's no, no painting, no big deal. I'm 
You're just creating. You're getting something down. And I'm going to always add charcoal. And you can put the date on here. Don't have to do that. So I'm going to let that dry. Now, whether I write a process on here today or not, I might, I might not. I may put this upstairs um, uh, in my other room when I'm thinking about it, when I'm cooking dinner, and I might come up with the process, I'm thinking about it, and I'll write it down. But I have a page ready. I also, on that other page, and you can tell I have used this before, so I've got some some things already in here, and I put this paper in here so it doesn't bleed. I don't care if it bleeds, I'm messy. So what I'll do right now is put that there. You can mess over onto the next page if you want, but I already have, I have like branding on YouTube, um, equipment for YouTube. Um, so I'm gonna have to decide, I, I was already starting this book, but it wasn't a it wasn't creative series, so I can paint this page. But this is just a way for you to get creative in the morning and get started. Okay, I'm gonna let that dry, and I'm gonna show you the next idea. I have these two, and these are about the same size, and. This was one that I decided every day, again, when I'm down here, I'm going to grab this book. And I'm going to, again, I'm going to use some of those same colors. I'm going to use my finger this time. You bleed over to the next page. If you want it neat and tidy, that's fine. If you do birds, if you do something like that where it's um, you want more of a tidier look and you're not abstract, that's fine. This is basically to get your creative juices flowing. I'm going to put some paint. These are Lucas paints, these. And you know I love using the golden. They're, they're so filled with paint <laughs> on the bottles. So you can't even tell the color. But there's that page there. And like I said, I bled over onto this page. I don't care. Now what I'm going to do with this one is since it's so simple to just get started. And I love pencil. You can use pencil. Today is one February 2023. I don't know why I did that dash in there. And what I'm going to do here is just write a list of what the things I want to accomplish today. And it doesn't necessarily have to be in your art world. It can be in your, you know, you can add other things. That might help turn that light off because the paint is shiny. It could be other things. I mean, it could be, you know, pay bills because you're going to carry this with you and and we're artists every single day every single hour of our day just because we're not in our art room creating doesn't mean we're not thinking about art or or um for me art painting and being an artist is a part of my daily life because i sell my artwork and that's that's how i make a living so the marketing aspects, the business aspects, all that is definitely a part of my life. So um, I will put in here, um, today I want to finish uh, two paintings. Backings and post to galleries. I have to respond whoop, to client. They're not a customer yet. Client 
on photos. They want additional photos for a painting. Um, but laundry away. Now I would consider this almost like a five minute task and I may have spoken about that before, but what five minute tasks are is they are um, a list of tasks that you can just add to any place that you want that during the day, say I'm letting that paint dry, I have a list of five minute tasks like put the dishes away from the dishwasher, uh, start the dishwasher, mop the kitchen floor. I don't have a big kitchen, so that's not that's a five minute task. Those are things that I can do while my paint is drying and I can knock off, you know, a whole 30 minutes or a whole hour worth of work without even, you know, setting down and saying, okay, now I got to do these tasks. So here's my list. So I'm going to let that dry. So can, you can imagine a whole book of beautiful paintings, and you can have it on either side, beautiful little paintings that get you started, get you in your art studio, and it's a to-do, and then you can carry this with you during the day. I had to go to a doctor's appointment, and um, having my list of things that I needed to get done was in my book and some of the things I could do while I was waiting for the doctor. So I'm gonna let that one dry. This one's also numbered and this has got these little strings here. And this has got like um, dots on it. And I've already started to paint in this one. But what this one is, is it's more research. So the other day, and I'm going to be doing a uh, video on doing your artist statement. Um, but for instance, there were some really unique uh, URLs of places that I wanted to, to keep myself. And I usually do these on little post-its or several other type of books. But this is on page 73. So it's the same thing. I put a little piece of paper in here and I could write, I could write here, but I wanted to do here because maybe I wanted at some point to type this up on my computer and make it more alphabetized. So I did URLs for art business and put the page number. So anytime I come across something like, for instance, um, there is, I hear about a new artist that I want to research. I would just pick a page in here and start put artists that I enjoy or artists that I I wanna that inspire me. And I would have artists that inspire me. And then I would have a like 37 and I would just start writing down. Or books. I would have a page for books, books that inspire me. So this is a way to have things, and then you could have this, you could carry this with you too. Now, I'm not as particular about what page I put things on. You might be um, more uh, detailed. This one I could actually write in here some things if I wanted, but I just happened to paint the pages because I was just in the mood to paint them. So, um I, I did. <laughs> no rhyme or reason. I may not even paint these. So periodically, you know, if you have extra paint, you could come in here and just grab a page or two and paint in here. The main thing is, is what I'm trying to get at is make, make your day very artistic. Be intentional about bringing in your processes, your daily chores, your to-do list, your research, things that may be mundane, bring it into your art world so that it, it is a part of, of who you are. Just, just an idea. So I am grabbing that larger uh, journal, the eight and a half by 10, and I'm going to go ahead and finish the cover. And I am going to just go ahead and put this on fast forward. Um, it's just, you know, using some of the Lucas paints and uh, finishing up so that the entire journal is covered with paint. The cover is like a rougher cover. And so as you can see, if the paint isn't a little bit thicker, some of that kind of like the weave of the black 
material like cover shows up which is fine with me so I'm going to put this on fast forward and this is that um, the process journal that I'm covering with paint but I did want to put this in to show you that I do actually paint the covers it's just a preference and it's enjoyable to me at the same time So I'm bringing in the second little blue one that I um, was using as my daily journal. And um, this is the smaller one and it has a smoother cover. And um, if you can take some wax paper or some deli type paper and put it in between and cover up your pages because I did get some paint on the edges with the this is high flow paint so it did spread to the edges but I I don't I don't care I I am a very messy painter I do like uh, the messiness of things so it's just all part of who I am I'm dipping a brush down in the titanium white high flow and just splattering it that's the look I wanted to get so I hope you enjoyed the creation of these journals and hope you can see the value of creating your own journals, whether they be ones that are productive or ones that you use for your art journey. But the productive side of these journals is one that has really done a lot to help me stay focused and help me move forward in the... Um, you know, within the creative realm, but also in the administrative realm, which just gives me more time to be creative. 
So I hope you enjoyed this and um, I'd love to hear your comments uh, down below on some of the journals that you create and how you use them or how you might use them or any inspiration that I may have given you. But until next time, thank you for joining me. Take care. I um, appreciate you being here and I hope you just keep enjoying your art journey yourself.